When our parallel lines A and B are cut by our transversal T, eight angles are formed. If we use what we know about line and angle relationships, we can start with just the measure of one of these angles and use that information to find the measure of the remaining seven. Well, let's start here with angle one. I can see that angle one and angle two together form a linear pair, which means they're supplementary. So together, angle one and angle two add up to 180 degrees. So to find angle 2, I can do 180 minus 150, which tells me that angle 2 is going to be 30 degrees. Continuing on with linear pairs and our supplementary angles, angle 2 and angle 4 are also a linear pair and our supplementary. So now we can do 180 minus 30 degrees to see that angle 4 is going to be 150. Continuing on around, 3 and 4 would be another linear pair and form supplementary angles. So here we could do 180 minus the 150 that we had for angle 4 and see that angle 3 is also going to come out to be 30 degrees. Now to get from our top four angles to our bottom four angles, we can use corresponding angles. Angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding, so they have the same angle measure. So that tells me that angle 5 is also going to be 150 degrees. Angle 2 and angle 6 are corresponding, so 6 is also 30 degrees. 3 and 7 are corresponding, so angle 7 will be 30 degrees. And then to finish it off, angle 4 and angle 8 are corresponding, so angle 8 will also be 150 degrees. If we go back to our original problem, there's another path we could take to find our missing angle measures. Here again, we're going to start with angle 1. But now we're going to look at the fact that angle 1 and angle 4 are vertical angles, therefore they're congruent. So that tells me that angle 4 is also going to be worth 150 degrees. From there, I can see that angle 4 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles, telling me they're going to be congruent, so angle 5 is worth 150 degrees. Angle 1 and angle 8 are alternate exterior angles, so that tells me that angle 8 is also going to be 150 degrees. Now to go to the rest of our angles, we're going to come back to angle 1 and the fact that it's supplementary to angle 2. That means to find angle 2, we can do 180 minus 150 and come back to that 30 degrees for angle 2. Again, now we can see that angle 2 and angle 3 are vertical angles, therefore angle 3 is going to be 30 degrees. Angle 3 and angle 6 are alternate interior angles, so angle 6 is also 30 degrees. And then angle 2 and angle 7 are alternate exterior angles, so angle 7 is also 30 degrees. Well, using the same problem, we took two different paths and arrived at the same conclusion. Using our line and angle relationships, those aren't even the only two paths we can take. But no matter what path we follow, we can see that angle 1, 4, 5, and 8 are all going to have the same angle measure, as are 2, 3, 6, and 7 are always going to have the same angle measure. <laughs>